You're watching Skywatch Media News for the second week of May 2019. Here's what's happening. The world is in the grasp of another mass extinction, the sixth Holocene event in human history, according to a report conducted by hundreds of leading scientists from more than 50 countries across the globe. The warning is described as the most comprehensive assessment of nature loss that has ever been published. One million of the nearly eight million species on this planet are threatened with extinction. The landmark warning portrays a bleak picture of a planet ravaged by humanity. The global rate of species extinction is already many times higher than it has been on average over the last 10 million years. There are reasons to be worried, including the diminished health of our ecosystem on which all life depends for survival. The latest report indicates the seriousness of the situation we presently face, with 40% of amphibians, 33% of all reef-forming corals, and one-third of marine mammals now threatened with extinction. Nature loss has been thrust into the global spotlight. We frequently refer to the concept of various forces from space, such as asteroid collisions, solar flares, and black holes, as being existential threats. But there are forces that exist right here on Earth that are having a profound effect on our future survival. The web of life on planet Earth is shrinking. It is being altered by internal forces, and the effects of this human tragedy are being felt across every region of the world. It's happening because ecosystems, species, local varieties and breeds of domesticated plants and animals, in addition to wild populations, are vanishing. The 1,800-page report specifies that there are five main drivers of species loss. Each of these drivers are related and interact with one another towards the degradation of biodiversity and the ecosystem. In addition to the species specified here, the Earth is at great risk of losing bee and insect species according to a report from the Wildlife Conservation Society. A 2019 study has shown that the total mass of insects on the planet is decreasing by 2.5% per year. If this trend continues, this world will be void of insects by the end of this century. The trend is also hitting global flora on multiple fronts. This includes the exploitation of tropical rainforests, and the disbursement of various pollutants into the atmosphere and into the bodies of water, all of which are the result of human activity. The current extinction rate is 1,000 times higher than it would be if humans were not inhabitants of the Earth. In fact, there is very little of the planet that is left that has not been significantly altered by humans in the past 100 plus years. And that's why I have said on multiple occasions that we have an obligation to act as responsible stewards of life on this planet. It's really up to each of us to act if we care about this earth. But we cannot act alone. It requires a united effort. One of the most alarming concerns is what society is doing to our oceans. You may not know this, but right now, there is an average of three to 400 tons of waste, mostly plastics, that are dumped into the waters of this planet every year. Consider what that is doing to marine life. A visualization created using satellite data pinpoints the location and the movement of five enormous garbage patches across the world's oceans over a period of three decades.
Right now, there are some 400 dead zones across the planet, the size of which is larger than the landmass of the United Kingdom. These areas are so depleted of oxygen that they can barely support marine life. The International Report of Global Scientists paints a dire description of what our planet may one day look like. But despite the ominous portrait of our future, it is not too late to make a difference. But it will require a thorough overhaul of economic systems, as well as a shift in political and social mindsets. It's certainly a daunting task considering the divisiveness of today's society, but it is not hopeless. It requires diligence on our part and a willingness to change. It is incredibly sad that humans have the capacity to severely damage the biosphere to the extent that it would take millions of years to recover. But if the latest indications are correct, then it looks as if we are heading in that direction. And this time, we won't be able to blame asteroids, solar flares, or any other on earthly force for what's happening to our fragile world. The blame will be ours to own. So here is the main takeaways from the chilling report on species extinction. Nearly 150 authors from 50 nations worked for three years to compile the report by the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, IPBES for short, a panel comprised of 132 member nations, including the United States. Representatives of each member nation signed off on the findings. What they discovered is very disturbing but it is also a wake-up call for humans to take immediate action on multiple fronts if they care about a habitable environment for future generations. Ocean ecosystems are degrading at an accelerated pace. This means that coral reefs are declining as the oceans become more acidic. This in turn results in the collapse of commercial fisheries, which affects coastal residents worldwide who rely on various types of seafood for protein and other nutrients. Human activity is having a negative effect on animal life that is key to our own survival. The pesticides and harmful chemicals that are being sprayed into the Earth's atmosphere on a regular basis are not just killing unwanted pests, but they are also killing bees, butterflies, and other species that are beneficial to the pollination of crops. The indoctrination of chemicals is also reducing the number of insects that many animals rely on for a source of food. Global trade has introduced invasive species to countries with devastating effects such as crop destroying and tree killing insects. Adventure travelers have returned home carrying microbes that cause diseases that are lethal to animals. An example would be the white-nosed fungus that is killing millions of bats because their immune systems cannot adapt to the spread of the syndrome. As important as these issues are to the survival of various species, the bigger issue may lie in how all of these changes will affect human well-being when it comes to obtaining food, water, and energy, which we rely on for human health. If we care about nature, then we must be able to link our concern to human well-being. Without international cooperation and support, the degradation of the ecosystem and its biodiversity will continue. World population is a big concern. By the middle of this century, the population of the planet is expected to exceed 9 billion people, which puts great pressure on natural resources. More than one-third of the world's land surface and 75% of freshwater resources are being utilized for crop and livestock production. Deforestation is increasing by more than 300% to make room for more farms. One-third of marine fish and ocean wildlife are being harvested at rates that are considered to be unsustainable. 
Humans are extracting 60 billion tons from nature each year to satisfy their demands for crops, fish, minerals, and other precious goods. The harvest is unsustainable. Furthermore, 40% of all known insect species vital to the welfare of birds and animals are being wiped off the face of the earth. Some of you may say that the loss of biodiversity is only happening in underdeveloped countries around the world. But the truth is that this is happening in your own backyard. It's happening everywhere, and it should give you pause for concern. The federal government recently placed birds' whales in the Gulf of Mexico on the endangered list because fewer than 100 are now known to exist. In January of this year, wild reindeer were declared extinct in the lower 48 states. Meanwhile, in the Gulf of California, a doomsday count on the vaquita porpoise is nearing zero due to the exploitation of fish and shrimp in this region by outside fishermen. In Antarctica, the second largest group of emperor penguins, the tallest of all penguins, has not produced offspring for three years, assuring a catastrophic drop in their numbers. We are seeing alarming increases in the deaths of fish, marine mammals, and turtles that are ingesting plastics. These plastics break apart in the ocean into microscopic particles that are consumed by fish, fish that you and I eat, which could pose serious health issues. This could be your future if the degradation should continue unabated. As unreal as this may seem, it tells us that nature is collapsing around us. It is a wake-up call to humanity. It's not too late to act, but time is not on our side. And the time to act is now.